Welcome to Atlanta, fellow traveler. Let me say we're going to be looking at Terminal B and looking at all the food options that you do have when you head up those escalators to see what is available in Terminal B to eat when you're on a layover. You're trying to figure out what to do with your kids while you're here in Atlanta. Let's see what options we have. And they don't mess around here, right? When you come off that escalator, from up to the plane train, you've got all kinds of stuff here to choose from. So let's go through the food court first. And what your options are to eat here. So you've got Pascal's if you want to look for some southern food. They do have breakfast, so you have that option. That's actually not bad. If you're looking for some major food, Asian Chow or Animal Eatery has your usual noodles, rice, meat kind of combination. This is kind of a go-to for me sometimes in the evenings because it's open. Uh, especially if you have later night flights, so that is not for you. So if you need a drink when you're here, it'd be the Samuel Adams Brew House. You have that right there. Nice little bar. It kind of looks, it's kind of separate from the rest of the chaos. So that's kind of a nice place to get a drink if you're with your special somebody or your medium to somebody. If you need coffee and a pastry, you got roast right here. It's just right where you come up from the escalators from the uh, and the plane train. So there's a lot more stuff here though. You got Willie's Mexicana Grill and there they have burritos. They also have like bowls as well if you don't want the tortilla to go along with it because I know Jocelyn likes to get the bowls and not the tortilla. So there is that. Now if you're looking for something fresh to order, yes, you can actually come to fresh to order. Find food fast, actually, relatively like nice stuff in there from salads to fish, all kinds of stuff. So, be looking for some of the warning. Elevated food court food, this is probably the place to check out. And of course, if you want true fast food, they do have a Wendy's here at the Dean Concourse right here in the food court. So, if you need to get your baconator, it's right there. If you're looking to take some kind of candies home from people, there's actually a Savannah's candy kitchen right here. You can grab some stuff, the pralines, which you want to get when you are there, though. Okay, so just a heads up. And after all that, I'm just in the middle of the food court bar when you're going to the other side as I try not to get run over because there's more stuff on the other side of the food court area. And so when you get to the other side, yes, there is a TGI Friday, so you get your burgers and wings. And of course, the important part, the bar that's there, that's nice. Savvy provisions. So over here you have snacks and stuff, but over there, they're definitely more elevated kind of food kind of stuff, a little bit nicer. What's cool on their menu, it's behind this nice guy here, also a fan, cool traveler right there. They actually tell you that, hey, some of these things take 10 to 15 minutes, so you have an idea. That's what I like. This is actually a place that when Jocelyn flies out of Terminal B, this is where she likes to eat because it's much more of a chill ass kind of place and there's good food. So that can be an option for you as well. So we're going to go in gate numerical orders. So we're starting here. There's B2 and across from B2, you have the coffee beanery. So if you're looking for coffee in the morning or anytime during the day and some pastries and sandwiches, they have that there. And then next to B5, you just have Atlanta Daily World, which is, you know, the snacks and Pringles and beef jerky and candies and stuff like that. So they have those things there. So if you're walking down here by B7, there's an Atlanta Bread Company kiosk there that has some of the sandwiches and drinks, so you can grab that and go if you're in a hurry. And also across from B9, if you look over there, there's a TGI Friday kiosk as well. So you do have a lot of grab-and-go options when you are here in B. It's not just the food court kind of stuff. Also next to B9 is Freshens Crepes, Smoothies, and Yogurt. I would go with the smoothies if I were you. That's my advice, and that's what I'm going to say about that place. So if you're by B10, you have Proof of the Pudding, which is another little kiosk place with sandwiches and wraps and stuff. But then you have the Blue Moon Brewer House. If you're looking for something a little bit more adult beverage but also they have food there as well. I've eaten there a few times. They used to be a place I used to do quite often back in the day. I don't use this terminal as much as I used to, but that was okay. And if you don't want to go into the brew house, if you don't want to get the fancy sandwiches, there is the Midtown Magazine, which just has magazines, but also has candy, sodas, drinks, small snacks. You have that as well here at B10. Another popular stop, the cross of B14, you've got Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen, which makes it sound like it has more than it actually does have. You're basically going there for either the chicken tenders or you're going there for the fried chicken. I mean, they're both good, so you won't go wrong because it's actually got flavor in them, so you can grab some of that there. I've seen over the years that that's taken a little bit more time, but still, if you got some time, you should be okay, but can't go wrong with Popeye's. Now, here's something a little different. I mean, it's not necessarily a food thing, but they do have snacks in there, so I feel like I should mention it, but you have to pay for them. It doesn't come with it. But you have the Minute Suites, which is those, you know, hourly hotels or two hourly hotels, just if you're looking for a place to kind of chillax and get away from all of it. Like, you can get your food and go eat there if you really wanted to. But yeah, that's an option there. There's actually two here in B, one by B16, one by B24, but uh, technically that is an option. Though I won't lie to you, think about $100 an hour, just so you know. Okay. That was B1 through B18. Now let's go check out B19 through B36 to see what food options are over there. But before I get over there, I do have to mention the uh, NBC 11 Alive uh, travel shop here. There's all kinds of snacks and things you might need to get for your travels, like the neck pills and stuff. They have that. That's here at the uh, food court part two. Going by B23 and Annie's. You can't go around with those pretzels, right? And if you don't want to stop because you're getting run over by people walking behind you, 
there's a vending machine right there as well. So you do have a, quite a few stops on this side. They do have some Traveler Oasis and stuff you want to get a massage or something. So if you're getting towards B24, there's a few things. That's where the other Minute Suites is, so you can go there if you look for a place to stop. You got Southern Living right here, which is just basically magazines and snacks and stuff. So it doesn't really feel super Southern, but it has all the snacks you want. There's Proof of the Pudding. They got a gourmet sandwich and wrap kiosk, so they have that as well. And now let's go see what else is down this way. So across from B27, you got Bobby's Burger Palace. That's Bobby Play from the TV shows and everything. Actually good burgers. The guy does know how to make some good food, so that's a place to go. And they have good breakfast stuff too. So that's an option for you here in B. It's across from B27. And there's a Dunkin' Donuts right there. I think you know what comes in Dunkin' Donuts. So by B29, you got Z Market, which is a, you know, basically a mini market to get all your stuff there. If you're looking for that. Also, you have a, the Simply Books here. They have a few snacks in there, some drinks in there. And then directly across from here, 29 is a vending machine or Coke vending machine stuff. So you have snacks and Cokes there if you don't want to wait in line or you don't have time. So there are those options. For example, if your flight is boarding to St. Louis. So across from B32 is Last Call, which I want to tell you is not the last food option we do actually have in this video. But if you're looking for a bar and some bar food, they do have that for you. So yeah, I tell you it wasn't the last one because Last Call is there next to it. You have the Atlanta Bishops Chronicle and that's where, you know, you get your little snacky dudes. They still have that. So there are more food options. And we have a couple more kiosks down here to check out. So down here at the end of B33, we do have two kiosk options. One is the Boar's Head, which is basically sandwiches. You know, if you ever go to the grocery store, they have Boar's Head ham and salami and stuff. That's one of their things. And you have the Atlanta Bagel Company here, which oddly enough had two bagels and Everything else is like muffins and other snacks. So uh, those are your two options here at the end. But I just want to give you an idea of what your options are for food here in the B terminal here in Atlanta. So which terminal B food looked the best for you? Let us know in the comments below. We'll see you later and bye from here in Atlanta.